Welcome to episode 25 of Gintama. Last time we had the father-mother with his, her son, and that was a great episode. So, uh, we'll see what we get this time. I don't remember from what little bit I, I may have seen of the preview what this one's going to be about. All I know is that uh, Elizabeth's in the thumbnail, so who the hell knows. But let's go ahead and get into it. We'll talk about it at the end, but for now, let's go ahead and watch. Three, two, one. The third season? You mean like third core, third set of 12? Oh shit! <laughs> Don't do that though. Don't do it! That would be fun. Are we really gonna do that? Did, did these happen? Are we actually doing this? Or is this just an opening joke? I have no idea. The hell are we talking about? Or just stood on a shot of the building. <laughs> Imagine if this went on for 20 minutes. <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> We're just doing this. They've just gone on to totally different conversations. <laughs> We're just talking about entirely different shit. There's just Jackie Chan and... We've just gone on totally different topics. He's like, shit. Oh, we gotta fill up the time. No, I think this is great. I want this to be the whole episode. Like me? Am I a higher up? Well, fuck. Okay. And it's a new opening! What a... If they did a recap, that would be disappointing. But phrasing it like that would at least make it funny. Like, they didn't think we'd last this long, so they didn't write anything. They didn't plan anything. Or if we had an episode of the characters just, like, wandering around being like, we're not doing anything this episode. We're just gonna sit here in the house and, like, Slice of life, really normal episode in the house, doing nothing. Because they didn't plan anything for season three. Or if they did a recap, but lied about everything. <laughs> like if we watched what happened, happening, but then they were narrating over it with lies <laughs> the whole time, I'd be into that. But yeah, that was a hell of an opening. I am not as into this opening as the first one. The first one was nice. New character there. Um, I enjoyed the first one. This one, not as much. At least not right now. After just hearing it once. Okay, but I guess we're actually getting like a real episode now. <laughs> after that uh, weirdness. The episode is called A Shared Soup Pot is a Microcosm for Life, or of Life. Oh, we're still here! <laughs> Are we actually doing this? Are we doing a highlight reel? I don't know. I, I still don't know. Did this happen? No? Is this not? This isn't happening? This show is fucking bonkers. <laughs> they can't do the recap because they have to watch the hot pot. And they're trying, like, no, one of you guys needs to do it. And they can't decide who's going to do it. This, that's ridiculous. I like it a lot. <laughs>
Yes. Um, I don't trust you. It's not, it's not sweets, but I still don't trust you. Ah, demons! Holy shit. They did went full force. Okay. You made a mistake, Kagura. You made a mistake. Whose fault is that? <laughs> oh, really? Just gonna kill them. True. You did this to yourself, Gin. You are now her enemy. Raise her up to be a strong woman. Yes? I don't know what that means. He's very focused on this. This takes a lot of mental strength. There's a lot of planning involved. This is Death Note right now. Shinpachi is playing some 4D fucking chess right now. He's thinking 12 steps ahead of everybody else. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> He's got it all figured out. How did you get money? No, you're not. Look at this fucking mastermind. Shit. This is, all a, this is a complex game of trying to read and manipulate everybody else. This is, I feel like this would be a, a chapter of Kaguya-sama. <laughs> it's pretty absurd. No, not at all. Convincing, very. Mm-hmm. Oh! What? Oh my god! Jesus! Look at his face! It's 
Sadaharu doesn't give a shit. This is what a what a half a year anniversary special this is. <laughs> And the music, the close ups, of course. I know it's really, really complicated to eat food with other people. It's a whole ordeal. Oh, no, they're here. <laughs> Great. <laughs> oh, wow. Not even... You, yeah. <laughs> he, just in, he just inserted food into, like, every... Word of that sentence. He wants the food. He smelled it. So now there's another player in this grand game. God damn it. Whoa, that's sweet. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Boy. What the fuck is happening? Kagura is the only one who's just kind of acting normal. Right. Then, yes, that's what's happening. That's what they will be, that is for sure. My god, look at the chins! Oh, of course, yes. I... I'm out, I'm uh, I'm out of things to say. <laughs> the fact that they're doing this for the entire episode is incredible. I don't know, Elizabeth might be a wild card. You never know what she'll do. She's a f freak of nature. I don't know. Uh... Of course. Ah! Shit! I made a mistake! I have to recover! I have to get back on track! Of course, the Nabe Shogun. That's a real thing. My god. The psychological analysis is unparalleled. Look at his eyes! <laughs> Whoa. Foiled. He was too fast.
now we're just now it's just a, a battle anime what in that instant go my named attack <laughs> and that's all he has to keep saying she just wants the meat no oh my god Did that come out of her nose? Ew! It looked like vomit! There was so much of it! Right on all the goddamn- No! It's covered in all that! And you're gonna keep eating it! <laughs> she was fucking doing it the whole time. She was in on it. Fantastic. Oh my god. Look at her face. I've never... I don't know if I've ever had the feeling that I currently have <laughs> about this episode. I don't know if I've ever experienced this sensation before. <laughs> this is so... Like, this is so little that I can even say. Yeah, why is pork bad? It's just not as not as good. You wanted beef? Well, I mean, well, if it tasted like beef, then does it even matter that it wasn't beef? Why why is this such a big deal? Maybe she was lying. Maybe she she's playing the game too. What? Oh God! It was all a play from the beginning by Gin. They did it. They, they they planned it all. It was cheap pork. No. I mean, if it tasted like beef, then does it matter? The taste is what defines it. Like, if it tastes like beef, then fucking you you basically ate beef. Your entire life. Well, I don't know about all that. And now she will never trust anyone ever again. What? The little toe? Why? What the hell are you talking about? I need to go take a nap. I'm exhausted from this episode. Holy shit. What the fuck is happening? Now, now what? With one foot in the grave. Well, the final battle has begun. I feel like she is more into this than they may think she is. 
Or Sadaharu will just get up and, like, eat it all. He's been there the whole time. Yeah, Sukiyaki. Go for it. Oh my god, what the fuck? What is happening? What the hell is happening? See, I knew it. They were they were more powerful. Holy shit. <laughs> That art looks incredible, honestly. That looks awesome. This is the best animation the show has ever had! <laughs> They're Nabe Emperors. Nabelion. Nabe Leon. I get it. Jesus Christ. What now? There's so many twists. I'm on the edge of my goddamn seat. They're back in it. They just threw them away. Ah, Kagura's back! Holy shit! This is, like, I'm actually really into it now. I Like, I gotta know who becomes the eventual Nabe Emperor. And it seems like Kagura did it. She got it. Sadaharu was just fucking here the whole time. Just hanging out. Whoa. Holy shit. He's like, what the hell is, have you been doing? Who said that? Was that Elizabeth or Sadaharu? I guess it was him. WHAT HAPPENED TO MR. RAINDROP?! NO! WHAT ARE YOU DOING?! That was the most absurd thing I've ever seen and I don't know what to say about it. I think I just am a different person now. After seeing that, I... I don't know. But Mr. Raindrop is gone! Now I'm sad. But I'll, uh, I'll listen to this and see how it is. What the fuck? I don't... <laughs> uh... Yeah. That was certainly... I don't even know if I could say that. Was Can I say for certain that was an episode of anime? I'm not even confident in that. That may have been a fever dream. Okay, yeah, I don't like the new OP as much, and I definitely prefer Mr. Raindrop over this, which is a shame. But the episode itself definitely gave me something. I don't know what, but it gave me something. Okay, so there's the new ED. We got a preview, and there's a little bit more. We're here again. So it absolutely was meant to be Death Note. Great. <laughs> uh, good to know that Gintama supports it. Let's talk about that episode if I possibly even can. God damn it. I gotta, I gotta insert this section right at the beginning of the discussion portion of the video. Because I went back and I looked and... Ryuk was there. <laughs> I didn't see him. I... <laughs>
<laughs> it cut to outside, and I'm looking at the bottom of the screen to see what they're going to say. And it, humans are worthless, and I'm like, was that Sadaharu's inner thoughts? Because it just focused on Sadaharu waking up. And I go back and look, and it's fucking Ryuk! So yeah, no wonder they referenced Death Note at the end, saying we, we support Death Note. The parody was made clear even before that. Ryuk just showed- I wish I had seen it in the moment. I wish you could have seen me see it. Sorry, but I didn't- I didn't see it. I didn't see him there. That would have been incredible. Holy shit, to just come back outside and Ryuk is there that- <laughs> But I did see it, and that's amazing that he was just there. My god. That's- that- oh, that makes the episode even better. I'd love to see more shit like that. Oh yeah, Ryuk's just here. Okay, moving on. So episode 25... Is there even a point to saying anything about it? I mean... I don't think words were meant to be able to encapsulate such a feeling. This feeling that I got from this episode that was some wholly unique feeling deep inside me. I don't... This is the, uh, the six-month special. You know, we've been going, the show has been airing for half a year. So we gotta do something grand for the, uh, the special anniversary. We will spend the entire episode sitting around a hot pot trying to see who can, uh, who can get the beef. And it's a Death Note parody, and a parody of just action shonen. And I... Oh, oh boy. So let's... <laughs> First of all, there's a new OP and a new ED, um, and they're fine, um, and I'm sure the OP will grow on me more over time, but as of right now, I don't like it as much as the first OP, and I don't like the ED nearly as much as Mr. Raindrop. That was only there for a short amount of time. I want more. I want Mr. Raindrop back. It was fun. It was catchy. What are you doing? But either way, the beginning, they're just talking about how it's been going on for six months, and how they're gonna do a recap episode, and I had no idea where the hell this was going. I'm like, okay, we could actually spend the entire episode literally with one exterior shot of a building and just them talking. Probably not gonna do that. We could do a recap episode. I sure hope not, and I didn't think so, because I felt like if there had been just a recap episode, people would have told me to skip it. And also, it's Gintama, so if they were gonna do something like a recap, they would do it in a weird way. That would be fun to watch. They even say, like, we could sprinkle a few, like, lies in there or whatever. I, there could have been an entire recap, but with, like, narration over it that was all lies, like Kagura was doing at the beginning when she was talking about Shinpachi puking in his sleep and all this shit that happened to him that apparently wasn't true. I don't know. She had it in for him. But, yeah, I had no idea what the hell was going to happen. And then they just go off on all this other shit. And that, that, like, that scene of just the building and them yelling, they just start talking about all this other stuff. They talk about Jackie Chan for a long time. And they're like, how much time have we filled? It's like, it's only been a minute and 50 seconds or whatever. He's like, fuck. <laughs> and it's like, what the hell is happening? I don't know what this episode is going to be in the slightest. And then we cut back and we're still there. But then we go to a hot pot. And I'm like, are we recapping? And then they're like, guys, we need to recap. But we have to pay attention to this hot pot. And so the conceit is they can't do the recap because they have to focus on the hot pot. And they're like, you look away and you do it. And none of them want to do it. And that's pretty incredible. And it just gets more amazing because it becomes the most intense fucking thing I've ever seen. It's a Death Note parody. They're going through these intense plans in their heads, trying to read the other characters and analyze what they'll do, trying to make their moves five steps ahead of everybody else to try to become the Nage Shogun or the Nage Emperor and be able to eat the beef. And this is like the most I've ever liked Shinpachi, because it started with him and he was one of the most intense. And it could have been funny if it was just him, but it spread to everybody else. It spread to Gintoki. Zura, Zura and Elizabeth showed up. Kagura was eventually revealed to be in on it. Catherine and Otose came in and they were fucking fighting harder than anyone. My god. 
don't even know what to say. The faces that they kept making were incredible. Shinpachi with the the glasses glare and the eyes and Kagura's face and the animation at the end with Otose and Catherine and the colors, the purple and the green and them going at it and them trying to get back in there was fucking incredible. Again, it was like Death Note the whole time. But then also just like action shonen where they're like, you know, what? when he made that move in an instant, my side is open. I have to recover. I have to do this. And uh, we're, we're beaten down, but we're not going to give up now. And Katra was like, I, I went through all that just for this. And oh my God. <laughs> like by the end of it, it was legitimately really intense. Like they kept throwing in new twists into it. They're going to get it. The Notose and Catherine are getting it. Shinpachi and Gintoki are back in it. They're going at it again. Kagura's in there and she's getting it. And by the end, I was like, oh my God, I really wanted to see what was going to happen. I was way the fuck into it. Sadaharu's just there the entire goddamn time sleeping under the table. He doesn't give a shit. Holy fuck. I could probably talk about this episode for hours. <laughs> just... Because it, uh, because of how bizarre it was. But man, holy shit. Kagura was great, thinking that she's just being manipulated by these guys the whole time. <laughs> and her, her heart becoming colder because of Gin as he prepares her for the real world. <laughs> and he makes an enemy out of her. What was the other thing she said? She said something pretty fucking... Obs she said she was a vegetarian. <laughs> <laughs> to make herself feel better. Like, oh, fine. I can't have the meat. It's okay. I'm a vegetarian. No, you're not. <laughs> but okay. But then revealing that she was in on it the whole time, too. And then she eventually she eventually got it and ate it at the end. But also the sneeze. I guess the Yato clan just has big fucking sneezes. Because, oh my god, it looked like she threw up. There was so much. And then there was... Uh, and she ate it! What? And then it was pork? And that was a master plan all along? That it was pork? There was like so many fucking twists? This is insane. It was non-stop. This episode was fucking... I felt like I needed to take a nap. It was a lot going on. This was like an in... this was like the entirety of Death Note. It was like 30 whatever episodes in one episode. It was intense. <laughs> this was like... It was incredible. But yeah, uh, it was pork. I mean, apparently it tasted like beef, so it's like, I, I don't know, I don't think that's that big of a deal. You got the taste of it, that, that's what you wanted. But still, they feel they feel cheated, they feel used. It wasn't really beef, it wasn't the real stuff played with all along. And she's like, I'll never trust anybody ever again! It's because of the pork! Oh, I... I don't know. I just don't know. I feel like... Out of all the episodes... I would have to think about it and look at all of them, but out of all the episodes I've seen so far... If you wanted to show somebody an episode of Gintama to be like, here, this is what Gintama is like, I feel like maybe this one would be a good choice. <laughs> maybe it would be a little too much, but I don't know. I feel like this is a pretty good one for showing somebody, oh, I see. It's fucking ridiculous. Pretty early on when you realize, oh, they're going to do this for the entire episode. How are they going to do that? And then they do. They do it for the entire episode. And I thought, like, every character was going to show up. Gotta for the, the It's the big anniversary special. You gotta bring in every character. But uh, I'm glad they kept it relatively small. I think that worked. But yeah, that was batshit insane. There's, there's so many little things in there that were just... Oh, there was... <laughs> I'm exhausted. And it was, it was pretty incredible. So thank you for watching. Let me know what you thought of the episode. We can talk about it more in the comments below. If you enjoyed, subscribe to the channel. New episodes of Gintama every Tuesday and Thursday. Check out the Discord to come hang out and talk. And the Patreon if you want to support the channel and get early videos. The links are in the description below. Thank you guys so much, and I'll see you in the next one.